What's up guys and happy Saturday. It is Lid and welcome back or to my channel if you're new. I'm actually filming this on my old camera, my old HD handy cam. I've just been thinking I needed to use it again. I got some new makeup from Dollar General. This is the blush that I got. I got a highlight and a contour palette. And then I got, oh shoot, I'm gonna forget which one it was. This is my eyeshadow brush. And then this is my um, contour and highlighter brush. And I have a blush brush. The pink one right here, not that one, this one. Mmm, I already feel like I'm messing up. You are supposed to go up with it, right? I like it. I feel all pinky now. I'm really excited about the highlighter. So let's do this before my camera dies on me. If we can get it open. Oh my gosh. Highlighter brush. Highlighter. This this blush is super cute, actually. I feel all like sun-kissed. So obviously I'm going for this one because this is the highlighter, and I think these are the contour ones. The fuzzy on it. I did too much. Okay, and then you're supposed to go in like here. I need more. Look at my nose, mom. I put highlighter on it, I put too much. You didn't see it beforehand. Where else are you supposed to put highlighter? You do your cheeks and your nose. I thought some girls put it in between their cupid's bow too. Let me see your nose again. Maybe it's just on camera. Come look at it on camera. Cause look how shiny my nose is. Yeah, just like on the tip. Is it shinier on camera than it is in person? Yes. Okay. It is. Okay. I think, but you're gonna put powder on it though, too, right? To cover it up? Mm mm. No, you're supposed to put highlighter on, la highlighter on last. And then some people do it underneath. Yeah, you might wanna do some. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Highlighter wasn't around though when you were doing makeup, though, was it? Right. I don't, I don't think so. Well, I like it. It's just so funny. <laughs> What if you went up like this with it instead of right on the tip? I thought you were only supposed to put it on the tip. And Where else are you supposed to put highlighter? coming down the nose. You can put highlighter. I'm really liking this. And I'm gonna be doing my eyeshadow. I'm sticking with the gold here because we have kind of gold pinky. So I'm gonna be using this one. This is, oops, can't even see. This one is a favorite of mine. I don't know if you can tell, but I've definitely been digging into that one. When I went to college, that this is the main one that I would use, bro. And then I have to do this because I have hooded eyes. And then I just sweep it over my lid. Done. Get a little bit more. Yes. Voila. Ordinarily, I would be doing my eyebrows, my eyelash, all that fun stuff. I'm just focusing on the things that I don't normally do. And I love everything right now. Give me just a second. I'm gonna go get a mirror to make sure that it looks as good in real life as it does on camera. I kind of saw myself in my bathroom mirror and I do think it looks good. I actually really love it. I look so sun-kissed and shiny and sparkly. This looks great. Okay, then I want to try one more thing. So I have my Pop Feel palette. My, a sponsor actually sent me this a long time ago. And I'm gonna use one of these browns and I'm gonna try and make freckles. Okay, so what I've done is I destroyed one of my browns and I put it all up here and I put like some drops of water in it. And I'm going to use, I'm actually gonna go use one of my old brushes. Hold that thought. This is one of my old brushes. I don't know what it's for. I already have freckles, but you know, I kind of want to do it this way. And you're just kind of supposed to flick it on your face. I can feel the water on my face, but there's no brown. Yeah, it's not working at all. There was a lot of brown on my brush too. It's all over my thumb. So I can't make freckles that way. Sad. What's another way I can make freckles? Cause I have some. I have one freckle there and one freckle there and one freckle on my lip. And it makes like this little triangle. And then I have all this little cluster right here. I just kind of want to enhance them. So if you have any other tips, like just to put like little freckle. Oh my gosh, the, um, hold on a second. I am such a bonehead. Look, so I have Express Brow. This is like a dark brown. And then I have the LA Colors Eyeliner Pencil. So on one side, I'm gonna be doing the eyeliner and the other side, I'm gonna be doing the eyebrow. I'm gonna enhance this freckle just a little bit. Okay, that's a little too much. No, I'm ruining it! <laughs> This one's not good with the little tap method. And touching and swirling isn't doing much either. No, it's too much. Okay, this one is too much. It's okay, it's practice. 
Okay, this one I think is going over a little bit better. So this is with the Express Brow. And this one is the other one. So definitely this one's better. How would I blend this out though? Because these are too intense. These look like actual polka dots on my face. So how can I do the flicky stuff? And how can I fix these? This was fun. My camera's about to die, so I'm just gonna say I love you guys so much. I hope to see you in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you like these videos and you wanna see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Somebody once told me that my freckles made my face look dirty. They just said like, your face looks dirty. You need to wash it. I'm like, it's freckles. And they're like, I know. I was like, wow, thanks. But I mean, they weren't wrong. My freckles do make my face look dirty sometimes. I wash my face, don't worry.